As five is a prime and seven is also a prime, this becomes a balancing game. So we have five times x cubed equals seven times y to the power of five. Now we know there must be a five in here because there's a five on this side and that five will raise to the power of five, which means we know there must be a five here as well. The smallest powers of five where our fives balance are five cubed here and five squared here, which means we have five to the 10 on both sides. Looking at the sevens, we know there must be a seven in here and therefore seven cubed means there must be a seven in here as well. And the smallest powers of seven for this to balance is that being seven squared and that being seven and one and then it balances at seven to the power of six so we know therefore the smallest x is that and the smallest y is that so therefore the smallest xy is five to the power of five times seven cubed which is answer e